Hi, and welcome to part two of Basics of Astrology and Tarot, the correspondences between the two. Um, I am teaching this in order to demonstrate how I do astrological tarot mapping, which is a spread or a chart read that I have uh, designed or innovated myself, although I'm very surprised nobody else has done this before because it seems like, so why wouldn't you? In the first part, I talked very briefly about the difference between the major arcana and the minor arcana in the tarot. And I also covered a little bit about what they correspond to in generalized terms in astrology. We left off having explained the major arcana being the signs and the planets. And the bulk of the minor arcana are very specific planet placements. You can go back and watch that, but I will be going more in depth in other videos. The next thing that I needed to cover and discuss are the kings, queens, knights, pages, and aces. I also want to briefly describe the suits. There's a lot more than just elementals, but when it comes to astrology, this is one of the most important parts of the suit. So let's get into suits, elements, and modalities. Within the tarot, there are four suits. Cups is emotions or the heart, but elementally speaking in astrology, there are three uh, signs in each of the four elements, cups being water, wands being fire, swords being air, intellect, and pentacles being earth, physical, material, uh, wealth, abundance, just physical matter, body. Now we'll talk about modalities. There are three modalities in total, and one of each sign is each modality in an element. Kings represent fixed. So a king of swords is going to be fixed air, which is Aquarius, I believe. Queens are cardinal. So the queen of fire or the queen of wands is going to be Aries. Knights are mutable energy. So the knight of water or the knight of cups is going to be mutable water, which is Pisces. Pages represent all three modalities as well as seasons. So they alternate modality and they also alternate element within the zodiacal wheel, which is always in the same order. This part gets a bit tricky to remember because even though earth generally represents winter, page of pentacles is Taurus, Aries, Gemini, which is a block uh, in springtime, three months of spring. Last little bit to cover is aces. And aces, represent a grand trine. So if you have all three of one element aspected in your chart, I would place one of these in the center of the chart. 